rusty shit box, 3.8 litre V6, shiny parts and engineering. Get around it. Welcome back to the shitbox circus. This week I've really got to get rolling so I'm going to push hard to get this front end done. I've already got the control arms made up so hopefully we'll be able to get it all working with only stuff I've got on the shelf. We're going to use these crusty old K70 brakes for now. I'll look at making up a bigger caliper adapter when I get a chance.
knuckles done. Right, so there's a bit going on here. Strut mounts, ball joint hole. A few different tie rod pickups for different lock settings. The center hole's the one I'm gonna run. That's a pretty standard for me, 95 mil center to center tie rod pickup. So what I use on nearly every set of knuckles I make. These two are kind of like a wild card entry. That one's an 85 mil center to center, which is like a good 40 mil shorter than the standard center to center of the tie rod pickup point to the ball joint. And that one's got much less angle on the trailing wheel. And over here we've got like a 90 mil pickup, which is also pretty short. And again, on the trailing wheel. So that'll be just a wild card. Try it and see if it's fun to drive. Mainly, if I'm driving serious, I just run it like that. 95 mil and dead in line with the ball joint. So if you've got the tire rod height and everything else set right, it should give just a nice feel. Next up, just got to machine the ball joint pin that goes through there to there. And just machine up an adapter for the tie rod end. And we'll be in business. set up now I've got a runner thread on it. Gonna use America's finest 58 UNF. I like American threads for motorsport stuff because the rod ends are cheap and it's tried and tested.
that's it. Now I've just got to finish up a few little washers, bushes, and stuff to adapt the tie rod. Then I'll be able to go fit it on the K and see how much lock we can get out of it. Doesn't always go smooth. There's one I fucked up and undersized. You might have noticed there's no taper on the ball joint where it goes through the hub or knuckle. In my unprofessional opinion, you don't need it for a motorsports application, especially if you make the pin thick enough and make it right. It's not like the car's gonna go for long periods of time without being pulled apart, where the nut could work its way loose and rely on the taper. There's one assembled with the spindle. The spindle's made out of 4130 chrome molly, which is just steel with some party drugs added to it. It looks a bit weird, but you can see the jacked up height on the spindle is to make up for the car being slammed. Roll center correction. I did go a little bit overkill, so I might need to make up a shorter one in the future, but this should be pretty good for now. So yeah, a bit of an improvement over the tire ones. This kind of stuff exactly where we want to go with the crawler. Rusty old shoebox with some like nice shiny engineered parts.